Hello and welcome to Tech Deals. Does the size of your solid state drive affect its performance? In today's video, we're gonna try and answer that question with a variety of SSDs, including several different drive sizes of the same model. Western Digital Blue, 500 gigabyte and one terabyte, and Samsung 860 Evo, 500 gigabyte and a whopping two terabyte drive. Now, all four of these drives are SATA drives, serial ATA, but they are in the M.2 form factor, but don't confuse that with NVMe, non-volatile memory express, which is a PCI express based drive. You can see the Samsung 970 Evo here, also an M.2 drive, but dramatically different in performance. And I mostly have it here to make the clear point that M.2 drives if they're SATA, are no faster than their two and a half inch versions. And it's just what I happen to have. But we're gonna take a look at some benchmark results from these drives to see is bigger, faster, or should you just buy what you need? Today's video is brought to you by Humble Monthly, an amazing service for just $12 a month that gets you over $100 worth of games to keep forever. Cancel any time, but you may not want to when you see how awesome the games are. Support charity, get an additional 10% off the store for any further purchases. You get bonus unlocks as well. This month, Sniper Elite 4, Tales of Bizerta, and Staxel. You also have the option of taking Rise of the Tomb Raider, a very good game. Here you can see the $228 of value worth of games you get in August 2018. There are many, many other benefits I won't go into now, but check out the link down in the description below because for $12 a month, this is one of the best deals for quality games available today, and it supports charity. Two quick things before we get to the benchmark results. Number one, all the drives that I'm gonna show you here in today's video are linked in the video description below to both Amazon and Newegg. Those are affiliate links. They do support the channel. If you found this helpful and useful, please use them when shopping. It really makes a difference. The second thing is the test bench. Ryzen 7 2700X on an ASUS X470 ROG Strix motherboard. All of these drives were installed in the primary M.2 slot on the board, but Windows was not installed on them. They were all blank and fresh for benchmarking testing. I had Windows installed on another drive. That copy of Windows is a fresh install and there was nothing else running in the background. The benchmark program I use is called Crystal Disk Mark. It's a free benchmark. You can download it yourself. Try running it on your own machine and see how your results compare to these. Starting off with Western Digital, I'm going to put up the 500 gigabyte and one terabyte crystal disk mark results right here. Now there's a lot of numbers to take a look at. The very top line is sequential transfer rate, just raw reads and raw writes as if you were simply copying files. The next line down, which is actually the most important line for the average desktop user, is the 1K random read and 1K random write, Q depth of one, thread count of one. If you take a look at those numbers, they're basically the same. Now, every time you run Crystal Disk Mark, the numbers are gonna vary a couple of percent. That's just the nature of the beast, but these are within the margin of error. So there's no serious performance difference between the 500 gigabyte and the one terabyte version of the Western Digital Blue. Now the bottom two lines are just increasing Q depth and thread counts for larger deep reads and writes, but those are not typical desktop uses. I put them there just because people like to see them, but most consumers are never gonna see that level. The bottom one down there is a Q depth of 32. That's server level workload. That's multi-user access. So it really isn't relevant to the average person. It's that second line that really matters. Of course, it's not a big impressive number, which is the drive companies, why drive companies love to advertise that top line number because it looks so pretty, but that's just copying files. But wait, you ask, what about the 250 gigabyte drive? Is it the same speed as these? Actually, generally, those tend to be a little bit slower, maybe 10%, not hugely noticeable, but oftentimes they have fewer NAND chips, and so they run uh, slower transfer rates, slower random access, but not by a ton. But that's not why I would not buy the 250 gigabyte version of the Western Digital Blue. The reason is value. On the day I filmed this video, it was $64 for a 250 gigabyte Western Digital Blue. It was $98 for the 500 gig drive. That's almost exactly 50% more money for 100% more space. Last time I checked my math, that makes the 250 gig drive an awful value for the money. But wait, you say, you wanna build a value machine. You don't need 500 gigs. Perhaps you don't have $100 to spend. Fair enough, I understand you still shouldn't buy the 250 gig version of that drive. 
What should you buy? An Adlink S20 for $47, 256 gigabytes. It is almost as fast as these, but not quite but it's half the price. The value for the money on these is really good. If you're getting the 500 gig drive size, yes, Western Digital Blue, Samsung 860 Evo, Crucial MX500, excellent choices. But all of these drives at the 250 size are just too expensive and drives like this for under $50 make much more sense. Next, let's take a look at the Samsung 860 Evo results. 500 gigabyte and two terabyte drive. The one terabyte's actually a better deal at the moment, but the two terabyte is a beast. If you want a ton of space in the small compact M2 format, two terabytes. Now, as you can see from the results here, it's largely the same story as the Western Digital Blue. There's no appreciable difference between these two drives. Again, the 250 gigabyte version of the 860 Evo would be a touch slower, not hugely, but it would be a bit, but it's $75. It's less than $30 less expensive than the 500 gig drive. It makes no sense whatsoever. If you're buying an 860 Evo, get the 500 gig or perhaps the one terabyte because for $199, which is what it cost on the day I filmed this, that's a pretty good deal. Only $10 more expensive than the Western Digital Blue, a little bit faster with a five-year warranty. That's a deal. To make a long story short, once you hit the 500 gig size, going larger does not make a difference. And drives like the Western Digital Blue, the Samsung 860 Evo, or the Crucial MX500, not pictured here, but I've shown it numerous times on my channel in the past, also an excellent drive, similar price points to these, are excellent choices for a mid-range or even a high-end build in terms of value for the money. About $100 for 500 gigs, about $200 for a terabyte for installing Windows, for storing your games, for storing your documents. They are awesome drives that will provide years and years of great performance. Like this video if you like it, share it with your friends if you loved it. Remember to subscribe to my channel with the big huge red button directly below. Questions and comments in the comment section, check the links in the video description. Links to all of this will be down there. Link to that ad link drive will be down there as well. Those are affiliate links, they do support the channel. If you like this, if it was interesting, informative, helpful, or just amusing, please use those when shopping. It really does make a difference. You will also find my Twitter, Twitch, and Discord links down there as well. Come say hello on Twitter, come say hello on Twitch and come say hello on Discord. Thank you very much for watching. I will see all of you next time.